guys. It's Targum Cycle and FPV, and I'm going to knock out some RMAs here. And then at the end of this, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up. Actually, I'm going to give you the heads up right now, just so that we're clear. And I'll probably do this in a video on its own. You know what? I'll do it in a video on its own. I'll give you a heads up at the end of what it's going to be about. But it, it, or, or, right now, I can tell you, it will cover the warranty and why I am like I am when it comes to warranties and people saying, hey, this doesn't work. I need you to replace it. And I'm not so um, ready to just believe the person. And it doesn't mean I don't trust you. It just means that I know better. Okay, in the sense that I know better than to just believe everything I see in an email. Not I know better than you. I know better than to just believe something, whether it's an intentional lying or whether it's a person who just over missed something uh, or just missed something. I mean, um, you know, I, I, just as much as you have the right to tell me, hey, you think your part's bad, I have the right to say, hey, well, it might be your work and I want to look at it. And for those of you that get offended by that, don't buy, don't shop at my place, okay? Just don't buy from me. I mean, this isn't Walmart. I don't, I don't, the customer isn't always right here. Um, especially when you've been soldering. Uh, I can guarantee you the customer's not always right then because I screw up and I've done thousands more than you have most likely. Um, and if you're some, you know, bragging know-it-all or if you're some beginner, the fact is, is I look at you both the same and I say, okay, well, if I screwed up and I've done thousands of, of, of solder jobs on boards this size and, uh, the, and I could screw up just like yesterday I did on a build, um, anybody can. So it's better to approach it as a, hey, can you help me out, than it is a, hey, your equipment isn't good. And, uh, and the second part is this is, hey, I don't manufacture this stuff. I sell it. You want to buy it from China. You want, you want the cheapest parts. You want to pay the cheapest price for, for what you want to call high quality parts. And then you want to complain when something doesn't hold up to your work. And I'm going, hey, look, um, I didn't manufacture it, okay? All I did was buy it in bulk at a price so that hopefully I can make two, three dollars on a part. All right. If you think this pays rent or anything, you're absolutely wrong. So please, by all means, spare me the I hate your store because you don't believe me when I tell you that I didn't break it. And, and here's an example right here. Okay. So I, I had a customer send this in to me and um, I'm going to show you what this is. So let me do a picture in picture here just so we can get this out of the way. So here's the board. It's a JHEMC UF7. Okay. And, uh, and the board's been soldered a little bit. And all I was told was, hey, board won't come on. Like it's dead, all right? And I plug it in USB and nothing happens. I'm going, okay, well, let's see. And then I, the minute I see the uh, picture that's been soldered, I'm like, okay, well, you have to send it in now. I gotta look at it, right? Even if it hasn't been soldered, I'm still gonna look at it because I wanna know if somebody screwed it up or shorted it. So I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, customer says it looks fine, there's nothing wrong. And I'm like, well, send it in to me. So here's what I do. I automatically, I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm switch this over. I'm gonna give you a picture in picture of the uh, microscope and me looking at it, right? So look at the computer screen and let's see uh, let's see, let me see if I can go to camera mode here. I think it gives me a little, uh, let me focus. Maybe video mode would be better, just because it gives me a little bit wider screen. No, camera mode's fine. Uh, let's go to camera mode. Okay, and what we want to do is, I want to show you what, what bothers me here. Okay, so let's look at this for example. Let me, let me raise this camera just a little bit so I can get a little bit more in the picture. And let me zoom in. Okay, and if you don't have a microscope, please go to our website and consider buying one because this will save you the hassle of trying to tell me that you didn't do anything wrong. So I just want you to see how much of this goop solder has poured onto the uh, nearby components, right? So we've got solder here that's just poured out onto here, and we've got solder here on the positive path that's just poured out. I mean, this is, this is not quality work. Now, I'm not downing the customer. What I am saying is, you know, if you're going to be doing work like this and your soldering skills are at this level, by all means, please keep an open mind when something doesn't work, okay? Just make sure that you don't start blaming the equipment. But here's the kicker. So I want you to look at something. Tell me if you see any problem here. Look at the pads, okay? Now, you can stare. This is the second side of the board here, so just look at it and see what you think. And while you're looking, I'm gonna get this regulator, I mean, not this, I'm gonna get my continue, uh, uh, continuity test going. So here you go. You hear that beep? That means that when these two tips touch, that means we're going to get a continuity test, right? So let's get started. Let's first make sure we have no continuity between power and ground. And sure enough, if you look here, what I'm doing, sorry. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to touch the power and ground. And look at that. We have no continuity there. So at least that part we know is good. Okay? Let's come over here. We're going to touch our two grounds. So I need to hold this still, I think. Okay. But now look at that. What is that right there? That is a 5 volt. Look right here. 
It's a five volt, okay? This is a ground. And look at that, okay? So when you do that, you have continuity between the five volt and the ground, okay? Now, since the five volts, it gives another five volt, right? So we have them on different pads, right? But what we do know is that on this five volt and this ground, we have continuity. Now, even if I just go and check the rest of the stuff here, so we have another, we have our RX2 here, and I'm just gonna turn the pad around, I'm gonna go look now at everything else. So, so right now we can all agree that this piece right here is a serious problem. And since the USB runs on five volts, there's a good chance that this may be the cause. So we're gonna just keep looking real quick. Let's look at the rest of the work. Okay, here seems to be okay, here's okay. Yeah. I did um, take this off. This was actually a little bit farther out. It wasn't touching though. But again, this is just a, a poor job on the soldering side. Uh, and, I, and again, I'm not trash talking the customer, but I mean, I, when I say poor, I don't mean like the customer has no skill in it or anything like that. What I'm saying is you need to just take more time when you're talking about an expensive part here. You need to take some time and make sure you're doing this right, guys. I mean, this is not the best work by any means. And it does leave definite um, uh, options for error here on the customer side. All right, so there's the board. Now, here's what I want to show you. So I'm going to get out of this now. Um, actually, first thing I'm going to do is, well, I want to show you, but it's probably going to screw up the board. That's, I mean the computer. But let me just show you the computer screen here. Okay, so you can see uh, the window screen. So now watch what happens when I plug this board in, right? Boom. Look at my light just turned off. I lost my camera, and there's going to be an error that comes up here. And now you're looking at my ugly mug. Let me close that down there. Okay, so we're going to reset. See this power switch on USB port error? Okay, so I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna unplug it now because it doesn't help. But look how it took out, it knocked out everything. Okay, I mean, it literally knocked, and this is gonna keep going on for a while now. So I'm gonna reset it, hopefully. Uh, let me see if I can get this out too. Let's click reset. Okay, that's gonna take me a minute. I gotta get this back up and running. I know it will stop eventually. Okay, let me see if I can get this to plug back in and turn on. No, I've lost. Let's see if I can get stored. It's going to take me a minute um, until it resets properly. Okay. Maybe I'll, uh, let me see if I can just disable all of these real quick. <sighs> all right, how many more times do I do this? Okay, so bear with me. I know it'll stop eventually. Oh, now it looks like I'm going to have to turn this off. So let me just do that real quick. We'll uh, restart the PC. Okay, so anyways, so the point I'm getting at is, is obviously we have an issue here, right? And we can tell that it's causing our board to surge. And look at that, the minute I plug the board in, the, the light on the, uh, on the, even on the camera went out. So um, we see the error, and the error is right here. The problem appears to be right here. The customer says it's, didn't do anything wrong, but, and I guess looking at it with your eye, you know, just without looking at it, it's right there, but if you're not looking for it, you wouldn't see it, you'd be like, you know, and I get that, 
but under the microscope, sorry, under the microscope, it's clear as day, right here. It's a very small issue, but I'm going to show you what happens. So let me go ahead and log back in now. Computer's back up. So give me a second. I gotta find my uh, keyboard here. Okay. One sec, guys. I'm getting there. another shot, shall we? Alright, so I'm not even sure my USB ports are going to work now, but we'll see. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove that solder piece. Alright, so let me find it here. It's right here. I think that has cleared it up. Look at that. <laughs> Can you believe it? Now, oh, I gotta restart my uh, video feed here. I see. Hold on. So let me, let me remove this. Okay, and then let me add this back, and you'll see the computer screen here in just a second. Okay, guys, so now look, just because I removed that one piece of solder, look, we're back up in business, look at this, and there's the board, that's it, working like normal, nothing wrong with the board, but it was a bad soldering job that led to a problem, and now the board has light again, okay, so, so look, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, now this is an RMA, I mean, this guy bought the part, he wanted a new one sent to him, and it's not as, like, I'm not gonna say it's not his fault. It's 100% it's his fault. But the fact of the matter is, is at the end of the day, uh, you know, I want the customers to understand that, you know, the reason I am the way I am, the reason I say, no, I can't just swap it out. For, like, I'm not gonna just say it's under warranty. Is if you broke the board and it was because of something like that, it's, you're out. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I'm not gonna warn you. can write to AGMC, you can try to get this from their website, but I have no obligation to warranty this yet. Once you've soldered it and you've made something, just a small mistake like that, Imagine if that little piece was on a 12 volt or on your VBAT, right? And your actual voltage. I mean, you fry everything. So understand that these mistakes happen. Um, but before you approach me, or I mean, forget me, just before you approach anybody else in the industry, in the company, just because we sold you stuff, and I get it, but I mean, this isn't Walmart. You know, we're not, we're not here to take abuse. Um, we're here to help you guys. We provide you parts. We don't make the parts, right? And uh, so... You know, I do get some emails and they're like, you know what, screw you. I had a guy yesterday, screw you, I'm a first time customer here and you know, I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, man, I mean, but but you don't. I just saw your picture and it's not for this board, for something else. I'm like, but you, you, you're doing it wrong. I mean, you soldered wrong. You put the wire on the wrong pad. They don't want to hear about it. No, you just don't know. I'm gonna go shop with someone. I'm like, go, I mean, what do you want me to say? Um, but if you, you know, if you're able to at least understand that you might have made a mistake, I'm gonna help you out as best I can. But if you come at me like you can't do anything wrong and you think you're a know-it-all, uh, know-it-alls don't impress me. As a matter of fact, they're probably the most ignorant of the groups because they think they know so much that they miss the common sense issues, right? So anyways, uh, this board's coming back to you. Uh, it's good to go. Careful of your soldering in the future, guys, and I hope everything goes well. Talk to you soon, God bless. Spend time with your family. And please don't be stupid during this COVID-19 virus issue. Please stay home, spend time with your family. Don't, don't think you're untouchable. I've seen too many people already get sick. All right, guys. Uh, talk to you later. God bless. See you. Bye.